Hello. This video is about the reservations window, which shows lists of reservations and includes versatile search options and tools for handling reservations. The window opens when you press reservations in the front office. The reservations view offers you many ways of listing, searching, filtering and organizing reservations. In the upper left corner you can see what hotel the reservations concern. In a multi-hotel environment, you can change the hotel from the drop-down list. From the next menu, you can select what department you want to handle. You can handle reservations for all departments by selecting the All option. You can sort the list of reservations by clicking its headings. For example, company if you want to list reservations by customer. The reservation color shows its status. You can check the meaning of each color by moving your mouse over the colors. The select field is for filtering the list by status or type, for example confirmed or cancelled reservations or all reservations. The date fields are for specifying the search period. After you've changed the search period, press refresh to make sure the list is updated to reflect the date changes. Changing the period doesn't affect or remove any of your other search criteria. Here you can choose if you want to find, for example, reservations for a specific period or reservations made during a specific period. Most recent removes the date selection and searches all reservations. Use group by if you want to organize the search result in different ways, for example, by group ID or based on who made a reservation. You can search in a number of different ways, for example, on name or company, or on reservation number or room number. Choose the search criteria you want to use and enter your search text. The search routine includes name lists too, so if you don't know the name on the reservation, you can still find it if you know the name of some group member. The search always concerns reservations that match the criteria you have specified, not all reservations in your database. The clear button empties the search field. These are shortcuts for listing reservations and rooms based on their status. You can use the shortcuts, for example, to list guests arriving today. In that case, use today's date and select, for example, only room reservations. Arrivals gives you all reservations with arrival date today, regardless of whether they have already arrived or not. Arriving gives you all reservations with arrival today who haven't yet arrived. Press all to remove the shortcut selection and return to your original selections. When you've selected a reservation row, you can use these buttons to look closer at the reservation and its room allocations and name list or its orders or invoices, and to add a new reservation for the same guest. Availability opens a new window where you can see the booking situation. Guests opens a new window where you can browse guests. With the new reservation button, you can add a new reservation for this guest. Behind the more button, you can find useful additional functions. For example, for printing the data on your screen or saving them as a CSV file that you can open in Excel. You can also send email or text messages to the persons listed on your screen. Use the Rooms button to look at reservations on room level. The Rooms view has similar search options as you've just seen for the reservations view. In the Rooms view, you can easily check if, for example, some arrivals are missing allocated room numbers. Thank you for watching this video about the Hotelink's cloud reservations window and its search options. And don't forget to watch our other Hotelink's cloud videos as well.